hello friends suppose we have a requirement that we need to send an email notification to users whenever a new account record is created but we have a condition that the email should be triggered only when the account owner is one of the listed users the account owner field gets auto populated with the logged in user details as account owner is a lookup field on user object so if i log in as any user it will be auto populated and we can't change it so basically we need to send the email for some logged in users only that means if the logged in user is you can see there are multiple users in our salesforce org so let's say we have a user called alex jones so if the username alex jones create a record on the account object then only we need to send the email to the email recipients which we have listed in the custom label okay so in that case how can we proceed let's see that so this is the record triggered flow for this scenario in the previous videos i have told you that how can we store the email recipients ids outside the flow by using two ways one is the custom label and other is the metadata record so you can check those videos as well for storing the email ids outside the flow which will help in making the flow generic so let's see what we are trying to do here so basically we are putting a condition on the record triggered flow on the field on which field the field name account owner so you may be thinking that you can put it in the entry condition and yes you can in the entry condition you can search for account owner you can search for owner id and you can hard code the value then it will filter the i mean it will send the email or basically it will trigger the flow only when the conditions are satisfied but let's see that how will you do it if we have a requirement that suppose we have 100 salesforce internal users in the org and we need to trigger the email only when suppose 20 of them are the internal users the logged in users then how can you do it by this you have to write so many conditions and every time you have to hard code the name of the user so this is not the right approach so for that we will use a thing called public groups we will add the accepted users which as per our requirement in a public group and then, then we will use it in the flow so let's see how i have done it so i have created a public group i have named the public group as accepted account owners so in the public group for now i have added just one internal user whose name is alex jones so basically the requirement is the flow should be triggered only when the logged in user that means the account owner account owner is alex jones that means it shouldn't trigger the flow that means it shouldn't trigger the email when the logged in user any another any other person like me like i am the logged in user currently i have logged in as anirudh Gar then the email should not be triggered if i create a new record on the account object because the logged in user is not alex jones so for this what i have done let's see on the flow in the flow i will use the get record element to first of all get the public group first of all we will query the public group then we will query the public group members that means the users which are present in the public group then i have used a thing called loop element so let's see one by one first of all i have used the get record element so here you can see the public group can be referred in the object called group so in the group object we need to filter the public group whose name is this so this is the condition where name is equal to accepted account owners so i think that is quite straightforward and then we will store only one record and we'll store all the field values for that so from here we have queried our public group successfully then we will, we will use another get record method and this time we will query the public group members that means the users which are part of that group so for that we have an object called group member so in the object you will search for group member and then the condition will be that we need to get the group members only those group members where the group id is this where that means the users which belong to this group so for that what we have done let's see let me raise it 
so group id equals to the id from the get public group so scroll down you will see get public group here you can see group from get public group and what we want of this because we have queried all the fields of get public group using get record we i want id so i will write id group id okay so then it will query it will get all get us all the group members that means all the users which are part of this group and we will store all the records because there can be multiple users in that group and we will store all the fields so i hope that is fine till now now watch here carefully i have used a loop element you can add a loop element by this way click on this and the loop element will be added so i have already added it so in the loop element this part is a bit tricky you need to see let me tell you first of all what we have done in the loop element we are looping over each element of the get group members that means in the get group members we get all the records of the i mean all the users all the well fields of the group member object so we are looping over this and we have created a new resource we have created a resource whose name is group user ids we have created this resource and it is it is of data type text and what we will do is in the loop we will get the ids that means the ids of these users like suppose we have five ten users then we will get the id of each user and what is this id let's see the id of a user you can see in the url so let me show you by here If you go to the user detail page, okay, we are in the back end side. Let me show you here. Because every internal user has an ID corresponding to it. Let us say myself. You can see this is the ID. This is the user ID. So what we are doing in that in, in that resource, the new resource we have created, we are adding all the IDs. That means all the user IDs which we which are present in this public group. So basically we are adding all the IDs of the users which are present in the public group. Which contains all the accepted account owners. Okay. So we are adding all the IDs. And then we will use a decision element. And we will compare. We will check that whether our logged in user ID. That means the record dot this ID. Record dot owner dot ID is present in this that means suppose we have 10 user ids which we got from the public group members then we will check that whether the record id of the current record which we are creating the corresponding owner id is present in that or not and if it is present then we will send the email and if it is not present then the default outcome will be executed okay so let me go over the loop in the loop this is the collection variable this collection variable is simply the get group members because we are looping over the element of this so we have added this then the assignment here we are assigning the ids corresponding to each group member in the resource which we have created here so let's see how we have done that this is our resource you can simply create a re new resource by clicking on here like i have already created then you will use the add operator and in the add operator what we have done is let me cross this you can scroll down and search for this current item from loop so this is the loop iteration every item from the loop can be fetched by this way and what we want to add i want to add the id of the group member so the group member id can be found by this field user or group id this field stores the id so we will use this user or group id field clicking on done so we get all the ids in this inside this group user ids now check let's see the decision element in the decision element the condition which we have put is this group user ids 
the resource which we have created does it contains the owner id of the corresponding record which we are creating that me how i got this you see it like this way this is from the current record the record we, which we are creating you can okay let me show you again this is a global valuable record that means it will get us all the details of the current record which is triggering the flow okay so clicking on record then search for owner then search for id this will give us the owner id and owner id means the id of the logged in user because it is a look of field and it got auto populated with the logged in user id so this is how we will do it so i have already done that so let's see whether it's working fine or not so in the public group you can see i have added just one user so the email should be triggered to the email recipients only when the logged in user is this alex jones okay also let me show you once by debugging the flow let us select any account you can see it's completed debug occurs successfully so you can also see the path here you can see it's highlighted here what you are able to see you can see default outcome happens this is because in the decision variable the id of the current record triggering owner is not present in the public group you can also check the interviews one by one you can see in the get record of get public group we got the public group all the records of the public group and then in the group members we got all the group members corresponding to that public group then this is the loop we are iterating over each item and then we are assigning in the resource we are adding the ids so we have just currently one user so only one id is added to this resource okay then the decision you can check what is happening in the group user id is only this id is present which is coming from public group so we are checking whether this contains the current id that means the current owner id who has created the record that means the id of the owner who has created the record which is triggering the flow you can see it it doesn't contain this value okay so default outcome is getting executed and if the public group contains that user that means that id then this outcome would have been executed okay so this is the way and let me see you let me also show you the other scenario that means when the logged in user is this alex jones because we have some record created by this here you can see alex jones so let me show you in the debug this account this account is created by alex jones you can see account owner is alex jones i have created it previously to show you so let me debug it again to show you the other scenario okay clicking on run now you will see it get highlighted in this part because in the decision variable now the id gets matched you can see the get record you will find it here in the decision in the decision you can see the highlighted part that the group user ids contains the current id the owner of the current record id so that's why the email is getting triggered so this was a debug let me show you in the real scenario as well whether i am receiving the email let me log in as let me first of all create a account from my id only you can see current logged in user arjun garg so the email should not be triggered as per our, per our use case because this user is not part of the public group so let me just randomly create a account you will see no email will be received this is the earlier one let me see. here is it so you can see no email is received now i will log in as alex jones and i will show you that the email is received and who is receiving the email the email is received by the recipient email ids which we have showed outside the flow in the custom label you can check those videos as well for more clarity on that i have already created videos on that where we are using custom metadata record and also custom labels so that email recipients ids need not be added in the flow to make the flow more generic so clicking on the login button on the user alex jones so now i am logged in as alex jones and now i will create an account as alex jones a new account record you can see logged in as alex jones i am a system admin so i have the access to this not every user can log in as any other user 
okay so let me create a new account let's name is alex account filling all the mandatory fields some fields are mandatory and you can see some fields are vary as per user like in the admin i think we didn't have all these fields okay the account is created let's see here you can see the email is received and i have used a email template here so subject and body is coming from email template so i had just for understanding added this this is the record owner id that means the id of alex jones okay so our email is triggered so i hope you are able to understand this you can also repeat the video and also try hands on for better understanding so this was all about this stay tuned for upcoming videos i am starting a series on lwc as well and also on the apex triggers and you can follow me on trailhead as well this is my trailblazer profile you can check that as well so i am three times certified a certified cpq specialist and salesforce admin and associate as well so this is my trailhead profile we can connect here also you can follow me on linkedin this is my linkedin handle currently i'm working in accenture as a salesforce developer so that's all from my side you can also join our whatsapp channel as well to ask your doubts and also the whatsapp group so thank you